two goals on the board during that power play sequence. So Anderson leaves for the Jackets. Kempney has not returned for the Caps, and there's a penalty coming up here with quite a quarrel going on in the corner. Once again, now Wenberg is down, and the Caps could be facing a penalty kill situation. Because of that, the defense in the second period, Joe, that you mentioned, had to play a ton of minutes, including Orloff. He played 932 because of just five defensemen available for Barry Trotz. We'll see how this is doled out here, but it looks like the Caps will be going shorthanded. And Wilson's none too pleased. So here comes a penalty killing opportunity. Felino's gonna come over, give it to the referee and the player. And here's the shot right there. And Wilson to the box as the referees discuss outside the penalty box. Well, he was definitely sandwiched on that play right there, and, and it's so hard Washington to tell. Washington 74, minor penalty charging. I think they got the wrong number there. Well, referee Trevor Hansen wanted to say 43. He said 74. For the Caps, it's not to John Carlson seated there. Head coach Tortorella looking on, the Boston native, the, the winningest U.S.-born head coach in NHL history. Yep, him and Laviolette won two, and everybody else after him are way below them two when it comes to U.S.-born bench bosses. Caps penalty killers on the hot seat here.